Thank you. It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Physics Draft Pour Machine. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Graham for sending me this machine. Thank you very much. And he ordered the machine from squizzers.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description box for this machine. And it cost Graham £129.99 for this machine. So um, I've opened it up. We've got a, a little USB, a tap handle, so I'm going to get straight into it, unbox it. It looks a really nice bit of kit. So I've seen a couple of videos of this online, um, Graham's really kind of excited about this little machine and I've got to be honest, it, it's kind of floating my boat a little bit too. I'll get into the reasons why in a moment. This is a relatively new design for this uh, type of machine. Um, it's it's uh, taller and slender, but I believe you can put any bottle size in this machine, right up to a, seven, a 750 milliliter, which is pretty cool. So let's get the tap handle on. There we go. And I suppose, Ah, there's a button on the back. No, that's where you plug it in. Apparently you... Let's read the instructions. Troubleshooting. Ah, you have to put batteries in. Oh, you may also power it by inserting the USB cable. Ah, turn the system counterclockwise to remove from the base. Place a warm glass of water inside the system. Maybe we should read the instructions. So you turn anti-clockwise, remove the top, grab hold of your bottle of beer, Open the top like so, stick that in there and then you've got a little tube in the bottom. The tube goes over the beer bottle and it simply locks down into position. I've put batteries in the back, you can either use the USB provided or put a couple of batteries in the back. I've chosen batteries because I had some lying around. So all you simply do then is you pour as you would normally pour your beer, like so. And then if you want a nice, and this is where the physics draft pour really comes into its own. If you want a nice head on your beer, I mean that looks pretty good on its own, but if you want a nice head, you simply push away from you. Boom, and you have a big, thick, creamy head. And look at the quality of the beer. Look at that quality. Look at the, the way the beer is carbonated. And that's, that's unique for this system. It wants to give you that big, thick, creamy draft pour like you would expect from the pub. And you can look at the, look at the quality as you rock the beer back and forth. A really interesting piece of kit, really is. Let's see what the the beer tastes like. I mean, I poured one earlier. Where did I put it? I put it here. So this is one poured 
from the bottle and this is one poured and you can see look at the dent look at the lacing on the top of the glass look at the density on that head i mean i went a bit wild the reason why, why i went a bit wild is because i wanted to show you exactly what this beer what this machine can do this little physics draft pour machine and that's a pretty cool bit of kit it's going to really sit well in my in my bar with my Philips Perfect Draft, my Blade Beer Machine, and my Krups the Subcompact. It's gonna it's gonna sit well because it takes batteries. You grab a cold bottle out the fridge, and then you have a quality kind of draft poured beer from any bottle you want. And this is the this is the good thing about this machine is that you can grab a stout, an imperial stout, a saison. Anything, anything that, that you have in the bottle you can use and brilliant. I'm wondering, no, I'm just wondering because the, the tube goes down the middle, The well, I was just thinking about a can, but the, the tops of the can is offset. It would, I don't think it would work with a can, which is a real shame, but um, it works really well with bottles. So let's try the beer. We'll try the two beers side by side. Where did I put the bottle? Down here. So this is a Capo um, Citra Pale Ale, 5.1% ABV, and it's from Flowerhorn Brewing Company. They're a brand new startup that are about to open up in December 2020. So they give us a little pre-release of what they brewed beforehand and they sent it down to us because we live down the road in Barry, um, and it's pretty it's pretty nice yeah it's pretty decent pint that smoothness that kind of carbonated lovely kind of smoothness that you get from the physics draft port is really really quite nice now let's try it without going through this system It's it's more carbonated in a you can tell it's out of a bottle. You can definitely tell it's out of a bottle. That's no bad thing. That's no bad thing. But just tasting this beer that's been put through the physics draft port, it's a, it's, a, it's a different well look at the lacing. Look at the difference in the lacing as we're going down the glass. You can already see it's a creamier, tighter head. And I even think the carbonation here, it's smaller carbonation. It's, a, it's made the beer an awful lot smoother. Draft quality beer from a pub, but in your home. I like that. I'm going to be using this machine. I reckon I'm going to be using this Christmas Day. I reckon my nephew will like this, putting his little bottles in, getting the draft pour, getting the draft pour out, and then, and then making a nice head for the top by pushing away. Yeah, I, I think you'll like that. My brother-in-law as well would like that. So it's, it, it'll make for a good, a good party piece. It really would. I'd like to I'd like to put some Imperial big bottles of Imperial stout through this. I really would. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. 130 pounds. Yeah, I think it's money well spent. I think this is gonna a lot of people now they're drinking from home um, with the whole situation of 2020. They're all having to drink at home. Um, some of the pubs are reopening, but some people still choose to to drink their beer from home. And I think this the resurgence of the home bar in 2020 is huge there's a lot of people building bars like i like i've done here in 2020 built my own bar and this this is going to sit nice i mean let's have a look at it let's have a look at its footprint let's move some of all these cables out the way so so here's the bar here i normally stand behind to do my stone crow virtual pub 
and just put the battery cover back on give the machine a bit of grace there we go and that sits that sits pretty cool on my back so I come round I do the the stone crow virtual pub and I got a nice I mean I can put it here and boom I mean I mean I haven't got any beer in you now we're out but yeah that works that works a treat I like that I like that so It's a big thumbs up from me, this physics draft pour. I'll put the link in the description box of where you can buy this. But yeah, a pretty decent buy. Ideal Christmas present. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.